It has come to light that the People's Liberation Army Air Force's most publicized air-to-air -air weapon, the PL-15, has a range of only 145 kilometers, or 90 miles. The technical details emerged from the Biennial Air Show China in the southern city of Zhuhai, China International Aviation and Aerospace Exhibition. This has come as a major embarrassment for Chinese keyboard warriors who have been claiming that the missile has a range of about 400 kilometers or about 250 miles against high-value targets such as airborne early warning aircraft and aerial refueling aircraft. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Chinese claims of PL-15 air-to-air -air missile has got busted by its own Air Force. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. The PL-15, referred to as Thunderbolt 15 in China, is an active, radar-guided, long-range air-to-air missile. The PL-15 was developed by the China Air-to-Air -Air Missile Research Institute. Its goal is to replace China's active, radar-guided PL-12, a medium-range air-to-air missile which has a maximum range of close to 100 kilometers or 62 miles. The PL-15 entered military service in 2016 and is carried by the Chengdu J-10C, Shenyang J-16 and the Chengdu J-20 aircraft. The missile features an active, electronically scanned array radar seeker. The missile can travel at four times the speed of sound or Mach 4 and is powered by a dual-thrust, solid-fuel motor. The PL-15 missile was touted as having a greater range than contemporary systems like the US-built AMRAAM AIM-120D and Meteor BV-RAM. The AIM-120D is the latest development of the AMRAAM missile family designed and built by America's Raytheon. It includes several new enhancements for improved performance. This includes a two-way data link, superior navigation through GPS-enhanced inertial measurement unit, much larger no-escape zone, and improved high-angle off-boresight capability apart from an increase in range by 50%. The software algorithm has seen a lot of work and has a much better capability, especially in dealing with new forms of electronic attack. AIM-120D has much more accurate guidance over its whole flight envelope, which improves the kill probability. It also has upgraded kinematics and GPS inertial measurement unit for better performance. AIM-120D's range is thought to be about 167 kilometers or 105 miles. Meteor missile is developed by MBDA and is based on the requirement derived from six nations and is currently considered to be the most lethal air-to-air -air missile in the world. Meteor has super aerodynamics and propulsion performance, enabling it to pull off intense turn angles when pursuing an agile target like a modern super maneuverable fighter. With 200 kilometers or around 125 miles range, it provides an ultra-long range interception capability against fighter-sized targets, critical in attaining first look, first shoot, first kill capability. Meteor also has excellent kinetic performance due to its state-of-the-art propulsion system, 
which utilizes ramjet. A conventional solid fuel booster accelerates the Meteor after launch, like most air-to-air -air missiles, but after that the missile uses ramjet propulsion. According to the MBDA, in a head-on engagement, the Meteor provides a no-escape zone three times greater than that of a conventionally powered missile. The no-escape zone is an aerial combat term for a cone-shaped area determined by the missile's capabilities from where a targeted aircraft cannot escape solely using its own maneuverability. To survive the no-escape zone, a jet has to jam the seeker of the incoming missile using electronic countermeasures or deceive it by firing chaff which are strips of metal foil to obstruct radar detection. With the Meteor launched in pursuit of a target, a tail chase engagement, the Meteor is five times as lethal as a conventional equivalent. While Chinese fanboys have been going hammer and tongs regarding the range of PL-15, several experts had expressed their doubts. Pundits point out that PL-15 uses a conventional rocket motor, unlike the European origin Meteor missile that uses an air-breathing ramjet motor and is very unlikely to achieve that kind of range. Some Chinese PLAAF enthusiasts have argued that the PL-15 may have a greater range than the Meteor because of its higher fuel capacity, but the technical data has busted this argument. Chinese military has often tried to build false narratives as part of psychological warfare. The nation is one of the most opaque and highly censored in the world. But sometimes things do come out. For example, this happened in the case of J-15 carrier-based fighter too. J-15, which is basically an unethical copy of Russian Su-33, uses indigenous Shenyang liming WS-10H engines, which are underpowered and cannot carry a full load of fuel and weapons. China's own media has come down heavily on it. Beijing-based China Military Network SMN, criticized the capabilities of the J-15 as nothing more than a flopping fish, incapable of flying from the Liaoning with heavy weapons, effectively crippling its attack range and firepower. The misinformation and disinformation campaigns launched by CCP and Chinese military can take it so far. Real research and innovation is the key. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.